What now? I'll tell you what now. We're gonna talk about patterns. And we're gonna do some pretty cool things about patterns. Patterns are everywhere, right? They're, they're kind of, you know, like on your clothes. Um, but they're also out in nature too. They're, everything that you look at has got a pattern. For example, this pine cone has got a repeating pattern of scales and it spirals. Let's see them. This flower has got a repeating pattern. What is a pattern? A pattern is anything that kind of repeats itself over and over again. So it can be math, uh, it could be numbers, right? So say on a ruler, you've got numbers that repeat, these little measurements of they repeat each other and you've got the numbers. That is a repeating pattern. A calendar also is a repeating pattern. Um, repeating patterns can happen in sounds as well. That's what music is. That's what uh, any kind of music from an orchestra to just a single person singing is a repeating pattern of particular sounds. I think that's pretty cool. But you also have shapes which can repeat um, and uh, like the pine cone, you've got shapes that can repeat. Anything that you look at can have this repeating pattern, right? So this little glass paperweight is a trilobite, and you can see this repeating ridged pattern. The cool thing about patterns is that they help us figure out our world, right? Here's a trippy thing. Time is a pattern. Why? Well, sunrise, sunset. <laughs> pattern. <laughs> uh, another pattern that we use every single day is sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. It's a pattern that repeats itself. Um, also the seasons are a pattern that repeat itself and it's all based on how the earth is tilted and how it moves around the sun. So if you think about it that way, time is all about patterns, right? Our sense of passing of time has everything to do with a repeating pattern. That's kind of cool and trippy. Scientists, people look for patterns in the stars. If you've ever looked up in the sky and seen a constellation, those stars actually really have nothing to do with each other, except for that we group them into a pattern in order for them to make sense to us. So here's the thing, go look for patterns. Go around your house. How many patterns do you see in your house? You can look at patterns on the fabric of the couch that you're sitting on. You can look at patterns within something on dishes. Go ahead and take a look. Go scout around, make a list of the patterns that you find inside. Bring your sketchbook and draw them. Then go outside, see how many patterns you can find out there. Maybe even just patterns of listening. Do you hear a pattern in a bird song? Do you hear a pattern in another sound that you're hearing when you're outside? Make a list. Uh, one fun thing to do is put a check next to the patterns that are man-made and then circle the ones that are made in nature. So there are patterns literally everywhere. I am here in my kitchen, and I swear there's like a hundred patterns here. Anyway, look, there's this cool thing, a little pattern of dots. It's pretty cool. Um, of course, everybody has an okapi in their kitchen like I do, but look at the cool pattern on the legs. Another really cool thing about animals, all mammals have got the same pattern in their, in their bones, right? So we have one big bone here, which, which is called the humerus, and then it spreads to two different bones. We've got a bunch of different bones here, and then we've got our hand bones. It's the same thing with mammals. They've got a big bone, and then it goes to two bones, and then they've got a bunch of little bones. And anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, cheese grater. Bop, 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 bop. Lots of patterns. It's a functional pattern, but it's a pattern nonetheless. It's all about pattern. My friend Sylvia made this. Shout out, Sylvia. Hey. Now, there's patterns where you don't expect them either. Here's an apple, right? I'm just going to cut it in half. That's a cool pattern. Every apple has got the same pattern. I'm gonna cut this thing, right? What is it? It's a kiwi. Pattern. There's patterns everywhere and, okay, I know what you're saying. Again, what about the toilet paper tubes? So you can use these to make all sorts of really cool patterns. This is made out of toilet paper tubes. All I did was flatten the tube, cut them, glue them together, and then I painted them. I did the same thing with these to make honeycomb. 
and I'll show you how I did it. So one of the really cool thing I think about patterns are, um, we're all patterns, right? You can find patterns on us. If you look closely, all the wrinkles on your knuckles, those are patterns. And, uh, and our fingerprints are all patterns. And our fingerprints are all unique to us. So our own patterns are there. Plus, if you think about um, our bodies are made up of cells, which are also kind of repeating patterns. I just think that's really cool. And everything in the universe, that is matter, is made up of a pattern of atoms and molecules. So patterns are awesome. So we're gonna make some patterns. What we're going to do is we're going to use these toilet paper tubes and we're going to make some really neat pattern art, right? You're going to need some paper towel roll. You need scissors. Uh, you can use tape or you can use glue. If you use glue, you're going to need to have some sort of clip. Paper clips will work or uh, any kind of clips for, for binding clips or anything like that. This is just a clip that I found. But you're going to need that to hold these things together. So uh, here's what you do. So I actually think this is really beautiful and it's really funny that it's made out of toilet paper tubes. But as you can see, it's made of these building blocks which are just rings cut from a toilet paper tube. And uh, I took a tube like this and I just flattened it. I cut, I just squished it flat right in half and then I cut. If you want to measure it, you can. Oopsie. I just sort of eyeballed it. But you cut them into little rings. And then you open them up and you can open them up however direction you want to. You can make them kind of rounder if you want. You can bring them back to round if you want, or you can make them more leafy shaped. I kind of like the leaf shape. I think it's fun to kind of play with them and see what kind of configurations you can make and put together. Again, you can do this after looking outside and seeing if there are plants out there that inspire you, right? Some plants might have leaves that are more like that and then kind of go up on the side like this. Some might be rounder and might connect like that. So you could already got some interesting kind of things. You can pull things down and stick them together in different ways. You can create patterns this way. So basically you're just taking these building block shapes and playing with them. When you know what the configuration is that you want to do, then you can, the easy way is just tape them. Right? So say I want to put this configuration together like this. I'm just going to tape it. And it sticks, right? And tape the next one. And build it as you go. There's no wrong answer. It's your pattern. Right? And you get this kind of cool thing. Tape it in together. And then you can build these long long pieces. All I did with this one is after I was finished gluing it, I actually glue it. If you glue it, you're going to put glue on both sides of where you want to pinch it. A little glue there. I actually just rub it next to each other like that. And then put your clip where you want it to stick. And just do it until it dries. And then when you're done, you take the clip off. So when you have a whole bunch glued together, I just took this outside and I spray painted it. And I think it's kind of cool. You would never know that that is toilet paper. You would never know that that's a toilet paper tube. Now, you don't have to just do leaf shapes. You can fold it more often. Now, if you look at a honeycomb, they're made out of hexagonal cells. Hexagonals have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So you're going to take your tube, flatten it once, fold it into the middle, and fold that over there. So you've got that, like that. And then you unfold, and you've got your honeycomb shape. You just have to kind of find it again, go in the other. Here we go. And then you put a bunch of those together, and you get a honeycomb shape. But again, play, have fun, fold them however you want to, stick them together however you want to, and you can make these really neat patterns. So have fun, create some cool stuff. I would love to see it. Take a picture of your creations and, and send them to me.
right here. I'll put the uh, email address down in the description too. And what other kind of activities would you like to see? I'm all ears. Let me know. I'd love to hear. Stay safe. Have fun. See you next time.